Hey everybody, as you may know if you've watched my videos recently, I have a Super Soco CPX and a Super Soco CUX Ducati edition uh, on loan from Super Soco to make some videos and review on. Uh, I'm basically doing different videos, testing different things, and this is the range test of the CPX. I'm not going to film the whole day because obviously it's going to take a while to knock out the, uh, the charge from this one. This is the two battery version, so I'm expecting to get a range of around 80 miles. It's suggesting 85, but we will see. Uh, as you can see, it's 100% and I started on 226, but it actually hasn't taken anything out of the battery yet because it's been relatively easy riding. Now, like when I did the range test on the CUX, I put it into the highest position, power position, that is number three, and I'm just going to ride it normally. I'm not going to try and eke out any miles. I kind of want to see what the worst case scenario is. I mean, the worst, worst case scenario would be a motorway, dual carriageway, flat out. That's really going to eat the miles away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to normal 40 mile an hour roads, not going to go into a dual carriage or anything like that, and just ride it normally on those roads because then you'll know that the, the best number you'll get out of this bike will be what they suggest of around 80 odd miles. Uh, the worst case scenario will probably be a bit less than what I get. So you can work it out, because it's all a bit of a range. It depends on the temperature of the day. It depends on you know how fast you're riding. What I will say, I've suddenly noticed about this, this display is it's at the wrong angle right now, that the sun is reflecting straight into my eyes off of it, and I can't actually see anything written on it. As I previously mentioned, this is the twin battery version. Uh, it still does the same performance with one battery or two in the sense of speed and things like that, but you basically just double the range with the second battery. As I say, I'm not going to record the entire day. I'll pick up with you in a bit. I can't remember what number we started on. <laughs> well, we are up to uh, 3.38 and it says we have 74 miles of range remaining. One of the ways they're getting 80 miles out of this bike is the fact that it doesn't have a huge, huge amount of grunt. It gets you off the line relatively okay. Um, but it doesn't have massive amounts of torque, so it takes a bit of time to get up to speed. But in doing that, you don't use nearly as much power, and obviously you get a lot more uh, back out. Now, as I say, I'm doing mixed road tests. I did have to do a mile of uh, 60 miles an hour, but why don't we try a little bit of off-road? Well, it's not off-road technically, this is, you know, this is a green line. So, this is the public highway. No different from any other road, you need uh, insurance and that sort of stuff. Condition of it isn't that much worse, to be fair, than some of the roads out there. You know, there's more tarmac on this one. I would love to try out an electric off-road, properly off-road. Um, but the thing is, they just don't, well, these ones, for instance, just don't have the torque that's required for the hills and things. Okay, yeah, it's been raining a lot, so it's very squidgy. I mean, the locals can't complain about this. You know, they complain about the noise of motorbikes coming down green lanes near their houses. Ah, that they don't like. Oh, God. I've, it has been, it's been like a monsoonical rain for days, isn't it? This is probably a bit of a silly idea, but it's fine. Just a small river. Just a small river. Still saying 70 miles of range, we're up to 341 miles on the clock. Because that range has just not dropped for a while. I know this is quite hilly, uh, it's not entirely the fairest test, but I've been trying to keep to the flat as much as possible. Uh, and the downs will make up 
in nah, not much for the ups it doesn't really work that way even if you've got regen going downhill it never makes up for the uh, power requirements getting back up the hill all you can really do is conserve energy in speed and hope to just coast back up no not gonna make it not gonna make it Oh, this is nice living in the countryside. It's, just listen. Silence. Hill starting on electric is interesting because it doesn't give you power straight away. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's a little bit of skill. Power up! Speed! I don't know if I've ever been up this way. Let's have a look up this road. Is this still a road or is this a farm track? It didn't say private at the top, so I'm going to assume it's a road. Now this is not a road. Well, it kind of is, but it's not at the same time. Where is this taking me? Oh! Okay, so this road is actually just gone in places. I just don't know how long this road goes on for, because I thought Oh, sorry, Mr. Butterfly. I thought this was going to only go on for, like, a mile when it started getting worse and worse, and now it's kind of slightly better. It's all relative, of course. Now there's actual grass growing in the middle. Has no one come down it? Is this actually a road? Why do I get the feeling it's just going to end, or I'm going to recognise it? This, I do feel like I recognise this, like I have done this before. I feel like this must be a farm track. I think I'm going to turn around and go back the way I came. And check on the way out. Anyway, so I'm going to turn the camera off. <laughs> because the battery's going to die. And I want to keep it for a bit later on. Right, catch you in a bit. Oh, check that out for a view. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, I've got to head back the way I came because the roads in the directions away from here aren't actually going to help me because I just if I hit 50% of my range while out here I'm not going to get home. Okay, well I'm safely within range to get home now, which is nice. Um, I'm up to 353 miles covered, 53 miles of um, range remaining apparently. And on cell A we're down to three bars, B is still full. Okay, it's now flashing cell A at me and it says I have 99%. Right, okay, so when you have two batteries it shows 100% the entire time. Uh, until you get down to one cell and then it starts reducing it. As I say, I was under the impression that you get the same performance out of one cell as you do out of two. So when we get onto the, uh, dual, well not dual carriageway, sorry, the national speed limit in a minute, we should still be able to turn, get 60 out of this. Right? Because that's what I was told. I mean, it's, oh yeah, no, 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 it's starting to get there again. Okay. It, there does seem to this, be this point that it basically gets to about 40 miles an hour, 45, and it just lingers for a second, like, do you really want to go faster? Are you sure about that? And then you hold on for a bit longer, and it's like, okay, you want to go faster. <laughs> right. 
this is slightly, slightly downhill. But my head is above the, uh, the screen. 55. Okay, 56, 50. It's okay, so it looks like it probably is actually uh, getting about the same performance of one cell as it is two. But this is how you kill a battery on an electric. Wide open and just make it go as fast as it possibly can. Oh. Okay, so we're up to 357 miles, 48 miles remaining it says. Okay, well, I'm up to 365 miles. I have 67% of the battery remaining. It says 37 miles. I'm now heading back onto the island. See, I've done a mix of uphill, downhill, fast roads, slow roads. I'm now going to do a lot of like, you know, 30, 35 mile an hour roads around here, try and knock some out of that range. We're now at 378 miles, which means we've done 51 miles. Uh, we've got 20 miles remaining and 27% of battery. 50, 60, 70. Now, so they said 80 miles out of this, being careful, I have not been careful, okay? I've been up and down hills, I've been buzzing around, and you know, don't go too hard, you know, you don't want to want to kill the battery too quickly, but I, I don't think I could ride this any harder than I have been. I've scraped both sides of the, of the centre stand on this bike. <laughs> like, you know these tyres were covered in mud, I don't think I can get much further over than this. It's scraped underneath there. The only thing is I've got another 20 miles to kill. Now that we are down to that like 26% battery remaining, it is definitely slowing down. Like it's not giving, I mean it will get up to the, the speeds, it's just not getting there as quickly. As I do keep in mind that I've had this in the full power mode, so we've, we've got to be predicted to get close to that 80 miles in power mode three and actually well i'm not saying absolutely having it but going up and down hills and stuff not not the easy flat 30 mile an hour that, that this was kind of made for um why are you not going up pull away you why are you not sorry oh you fuck. well thank you for that 25% uh, on a slight incline, motor gave up, would not pull away, that got quite dodgy. And that's the one thing I will say about this I've noticed, is the hesitation of this getting off the mark. You get the throttle on, and then it goes. The CUX, the 50, actually feels a bit punchier than this, because you get on that throttle, and it goes immediately. Okay, we're up to 380 miles, 17 miles remaining at 21%. However, I want to pull up here in a minute and I want to try and see if I can stop this bike pulling away. Okay, so now both the batteries are flashing because it says I have 20% remaining, which is about 17 miles of range. Okay, number one, let's see if I can stop it from pulling away. Oh, not quite. Almost. That's just with my legs. Let's try this again on a bit of an incline. Right, so what was with that? Why did I get the motor light come on and it wouldn't pull away? 
there is definite a distinct lack of power here now because like, I can't get over 40. Well, I can just about, it just takes a while. Okay, so I basically just kept riding and riding and riding around in circles. Uh, and I got to the point when the battery got down to 20%. And when the battery got to 20%, it was very slow getting this bike up to 30 mile an hour. Like it took maybe 15 seconds or something like that to get it up to 30. So anything over uh, 20%, you get basically what feels like most of the power. Obviously it does ramp down a little bit, but it's still quick enough that when you pull away, you feel fine. Once I got below that 20% mark, it then felt a little bit dodgy because I really couldn't pull away and people were expecting me to pull away a lot faster and I'm creeping up to speed and there's no way of me letting them know that was happening. Um, however, we started the day on 327 miles. We've ended on 388, which means we've done 61 miles. Considering that 61 miles with a 6 foot 4, 16, 15, 16 stone guy on it, up and down hills, and I was just in power mode 3 and basically ragging it a little bit. I wasn't being very careful at all, just riding it how I was having fun. Um, 61 miles is not actually that bad compared to the, what, with the suggestion of 80. If I've got any more stuff I want to say, I'll tag on in a minute. Okay, this is me from after editing the video, and there is a couple of things I definitely do want to add on. Number one, I thought I was being pretty careful with this, trying to, you know, eke, not eat the miles out, but try and ride it relatively normally. Well, as it turns out, I did ride it relatively normally, which meant I just hammered it around the country roads pretty much. Uh, and the hills would have definitely had a big impact on the miles that we got. So that 61 mile range I got seems even more impressive. Uh, I think if I was on the flat, I would have probably got nearer to 70 and if I was in you know if I was in a city and I, I was being more considerate with the way I was riding it even if I had it in power mode 2 rather than the full power mode I think that 80 miles is pretty achievable uh, and that actually brings me on to my second thing the two instances where the controller light came on and it wouldn't pull away I think that's due to overheating uh, it didn't do it on lots of other roads it was completely fine on as, a, as you saw later on I tried it and I couldn't get it to recreate it doing that so the only thing that seems to make sense is it probably overheated a little bit but as I say it was a very hot day I was just riding it from 100% down to zero without stopping so I would probably had really built some heat up in it I assume that is what is the case but in both instances if you just let off the throttle wait a second and get back on gently it it's okay and then it goes away uh, which might lead to as I say to the thing about it being heat build up so it is what it is it did pretty all right a couple of problems along the way there uh, i do still have a full review to do on this bike which will be coming soon so if you'd like to see that please hit the subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button and if you want to help support the channel please consider doing that through patreon uh, links in the description I'll catch you in the next one bye bye